Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. Before we get into NFL Week 5, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which gives you all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So we're going to look at five games for this week. So let's get started. Let's just scroll down through here. Jets and the Falcons. Now remember, we're going to look at five. I'm not going to look at every game. We're going to pick out the five of the best games for this week. Here is one of them. The Denver Broncos and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Denver is one of the surprise teams in the league. Coming in at 3-1, and one, the Steelers have stumbled out of the gate, and they are 1-3. and three. You can see the Broncos are burning hot down, and the Steelers are ice cold down. Denver is a half-point favorite. You see here the odds are basically even at 1.9, 1.9 with the over-under of 39.5. So we're expecting a defensive battle in this one. If you look at the power ranking indicator, see that Denver is up to plus 31 near the top of the league, climbing up from plus 8 just a few weeks ago, and the Steelers have dropped from plus 22 on September 19th to plus 14. If you're considering the over-under in this game, take a look at the totals predictor you can see here. under the line by four points, the Broncos, and you can see the Steelers are also trending under the line. So under is probably a smart play in this one, but let's take a look at the score prediction. Broncos 38, Steelers 8, or 37, Steelers 18, with confidence in prediction of 63%. Now again, this is not basic, this is not um, really going on um, what's going on right now, per se. It's based on statistical analysis since 1999. So there's a lot of things to consider when looking at this score prediction. This just gives you a little bit of an idea. But then again, I'm not looking at the game to be that high scoring. I really do believe that the Broncos are the better team. I believe the Broncos will win this game. I like them to cover, but I would avoid the over and under. Detroit and Minnesota. Green Bay and Cincinnati. Here's another really good game coming up. You see here that uh, the Packers and the Bengals enter with identical 3-1 records. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. And the power ranking indicator, this, the Packers have jumped from plus 5 up to plus 26. And Cincinnati has climbed from plus 6 up to plus 16. Of course, both are on the upward trend. Considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the Packers have been trending in games over the line, while the Bengals have been trending in way under the line. What does the score prediction show us? Well, the score prediction shows us the Packers with a 27 to 18 edge with confidence and prediction of 65%. The Packers are a 3.5 road favorite with odds of 1.59 to 2.352. And the over-under in this one is sitting at 51.5. So right now the score prediction shows under. The tolls predictor shows under. Um, really, it looks like under is the way to go in this one. I do like the Packers on the road. I believe they are a much stronger team than the Bengals overall, despite the Bengals also off the 3-1 start. So let's go with the Packers to win and cover. Miami and Tampa Bay. We're going to Houston. These, these are all the matchups here. Not looking at all of these. Uh, the Saints in Washington. Philadelphia, Carolina. Again, you can take a look at these anytime you wish and look at all the analysis and make your picks accordingly. Cleveland and the Chargers. Here's the next one we want to look at. The Browns and the Chargers are both 3-1 and one on the season and burning hot coming into the contest. You can see that the Chargers are a slight favorite at 1.5, with odds of 1.8 to 2, and an over-under of 46.5. The score prediction has Cleveland by a narrow margin of 20 to 17, with confidence and prediction pretty high at 76%. If that would hold, that would be well under the line. But let's see what the totals predictor is showing. The totals predictor is showing Cleveland trending in games right around the line, but Look at this, the Chargers way under the line, minus 6. I really do like the under in this one. Let's see what the um, 
the line movement showing here. Here's the money line. If you look at the money line, it started here at uh, 1.901. And look at this, it has climbed to 1.8. Take a look at that as you continue to get closer and closer to the game. It might help you make your picks even more successfully. The way I'm looking at it, though, is I do like the Chargers. I like the Chargers at home. That line is very narrow. I believe that they will win. It will be a close game. I like the under. I like the Chargers to win by probably a field goal. Not much more than that. It's going to be a good game. Giants and the Cowboys. NFC East matchup. Not really much to say there. The Cowboys are the better team. 49ers in Arizona. NFC West battle. Here's a good one. This is one of the best games of the week also. The Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Bills are coming in with a 3-1 record, but they're going to be facing their toughest test against the 2-2 two two Chiefs, who are coming off a 42-30 win against the Eagles. The Chiefs are a home favorite of 2.5 points, odds of 1.67 to 2.18, with an over-under of 56.5. That's high, uh, but the score prediction here of the Bills... 30, Kansas City 29, 68% confidence. That would be over if that were to hold. Let's take a look at the power ranking indicator before we look at the totals predictor. The power ranking indicator has the Bills at plus 23 and the Chiefs are at plus 15. Now let's see about the over under according to what the totals predictor is showing. The totals predictor has Buffalo right around the line, maybe slightly over. But look at this, Kansas City has been over the line for ever since the beginning of the season. So I do think that this will be a high scoring game. Even though the uh, score prediction has Buffalo winning, I do like the Chiefs at home. I think it's going to come down to a field goal. I think Harrison Butker hits it. I think the Chiefs win and narrowly cover the spread and go with the over. Indianapolis and Baltimore. We're going to take a look at this one. This is the last game we are going to take a look at. The Colts and the Ravens. The Colts are coming off their first win of the season. They are average status. The Ravens are burning hot. And they are 3-1 on the season. The Ravens are a solid favorite. Almost a touchdown end point after. It's minus 6.5. Odds of 1.31 to 3.36. And the over-under on this one you see is at 46.5. The power ranking indicator shows here that the Colts have dropped significantly right not a surprise, they're at plus 3. Then the Ravens were at plus 23 a week ago, and they're down slightly to plus 22. The Toast Predictor, the Colts are playing in games now slightly under the line. The Ravens are under as well. This could be a good indication to bet the under, but let's see what the score predictor shows. The score prediction shows a little bit opposite here. Now, this is 41 for the Ravens, 20 for the Colts. Confidence in prediction of 67.5%. I don't think it's going to be nearly that high scoring. That's a 61 point output. But I do believe that there will probably be enough to actually go over despite what the total predictor trend is showing. And I do like the Ravens to win by more than a touchdown. So the Ravens will win and cover. So there you have it. Those are all the games for week five of the NFL season. Happy betting and we will see you next time.